Can you live without the news? Can you live without the day-to-day -day chatter about things happening, about the stuff that comes down from television and newspaper headlines? Two years ago, I started an experiment. I cut myself off completely from the news. I threw my TV out the window, I canceled my newspapers, I deleted the news apps from my phone, and I reset my browser start page from Google News to Amazon. The first 30 days were hard, really hard. Standing in line, waiting, and not checking the news on the phone, instead pulling out a book. I forced myself not to pick up newspapers laying around airports, to not even glance at the headlines if the guy in front of me opened up his paper. But after about a month, something strange happened. I arrived in a new land. It felt so solid, so real, so peaceful. And it still does today. I'm happy to report I now have more time, I think deeper, I have more insights. Cutting out the news was one of the best decisions of my life, and I will never go back. See, news is to the brain what sugar is to the body. You can swallow limitless quantities of news flashes, tidbits like jelly beans, but these jelly beans don't nourish you. They don't give you understanding. As a matter of fact, they're quite toxic to your brain. Events, news events, are just things happening, flickering on the world's surface. But to make better decisions, you want to understand what drives these events, what generates these events. And news stories don't tell you that. News gives you the illusion of understanding, and that illusion is dangerous. I came to realize, the more news you consume, the less you understand the world. My website lists 15 reasons why you should give up the news. Let me give you just four. Number one, the brain interprets the sensational as being much more frequent than it actually occurs. And it disregards the silent risks that, don't, that are not fit for the headlines. The result, you constantly walk around with the wrong risk map in your head. Number two, news are mostly irrelevant. An average person consumes between 10,000 and 20,000 news stories a year. Let me ask you. From the thousands of news stories you have seen this year, tell me one, just one, that has allowed you to make better decisions for your private life or business life compared to not knowing it. Be truthful. Most people have a difficult time coming up with a single example. Now, people push me and they say, but you have to know if there's a catastrophe somewhere on the planet. Really? Do I? There's probably bad things happening on other planets and I'm quite OK not knowing about them. <laughs> I'm not callous. I'm just rational, just setting priorities. <laughs> Number three, news is toxic to your health. News stories constantly trigger the limbic system. Panicky stories release glucocorticoids, stress hormones that put your body in a state of chronic tension and alert. The result, your body stops growing, doesn't repair itself, and becomes susceptible to infection. You will be physically healthier if you stay away from the perpetual drama of the news. Number four, news wastes time. If you consume news for 15 minutes each morning and 15 minutes in the afternoon and watch news on television for 30 minutes before bed, you waste productive hours totaling a workday a week. A day for what? If news gave you a competitive advantage, journalists would be the richest people on the planet. They are not, quite to the contrary. Today, I realize to have a real competitive advantage, you better stay out from the news stream. So what should you do? Go cold turkey, make news inaccessible, read long, solid magazine articles that give you perspective, read books that explain the world's complexities, try reading a book a week, better two or three, history school, biology, psychology, have fun reading and talk to people who really know. And I guarantee you, if something truly important happens, you will hear about it in time from your friends. And don't be shy about discussing your news diet. People will be fascinated. My advice to you, go deep instead of broad in your search for knowledge. You will be more healthy, more wealthy, and more wise. Thank you.